you should have subscribed to my channel if you haven't already. I'm not. Video. Yeah, I'm in a riding taco again. It's fucking raining. It's so fucking hard to hear you right now. I'm gonna see if I can. I'm gonna turn your volume up real quick. Can you just talk to me? But yeah, yeah, it used to be so easy to make money back then. That's why I did it. It was yeah. a fucking gold mine. And I had so much knowledge on it. I don't know where it came from. Being serious. But I used to go to fucking people's houses and hard rubbish. And pick up all the old computers. And sometimes the school would get rid of old IBM box computers they had. Yeah. And got fucking square around with the square black ones. Or even the white ones or the laptops. All that shit I hoarded. it. I hold in the of it. And I built the computer out of all the parts and all the things you can do. I fucked around with it, got it in the food. And I used it. Yeah, I don't know if I could do that. I don't, I don't know. No prior re like no prior research, nothing. I was 13. I think I was both from 10. 10 years old. I started fucking around with the computer. I did my first reformat, I reckon, by the time I was about 11 or 12. And then hmm. by that point, yeah, like by that point I already knew how things work and what motherboards were and what chipsets they are and what pins they do and that's like all of it. I haven't bought a PC in my life of he's, anyone. He's bought the bits and made them. Yep, yep. Or I've never had to go to a computer shop besides having to buy a part. Huh. Never had to go there, but I've had a problem about the product, but not about using the new installation. Yeah. I've just taught myself, but for the most part, I don't know where it came from. I don't like to put the fucking computer in here, but you want to get me to be a mechanic. And so it's like, there's a whole life, and that's what you need. But, yeah. I have this untapped this knowledge of technology that I don't know where it comes from. I could be fucking at someone's house with my dad, one of his customers' house, and yeah. they'd have problems with their TV. And I've, I'm not foreign to that shit. I never had TV. I don't watch TV. Yeah. I don't even really... I own one thing. Never watched TV in my life. I've always been on the computer. Like I said, since I was 10 years old. Yeah. The whole world's been faster by it. Anyway, and you'd have like a smart TV or something. Even a phone, but you know what I mean? Laptop, anything. Phone, Game Boy. Anything that gets plugged into something, yeah. I, could, I just would be able to fix. Wrap your and head around it. Like, yeah, yeah. I just would go, oh, okay, this probably goes here then. And it just works. Hmm. And I take the fix out, I'm like, I don't know. You're like, what do you mean? Like, I, I don't know. I just, my heart told me to put it in there, and I just didn't do it. Yeah. Hmm. What, you do that every time? I'm like, yeah. I'm like, where'd you go to school? I'm like, okay, I was in the I didn't go to school. Yeah. I said I'm at a level 4 since so actually I could even do the climb up and skip all of it. And I was like, what? They're like, yeah, you need to go into science and technology, man. You're way beyond when you decide to do I was sitting there fragging discs and checking out all their network and shit. Yeah. And hacking all the computers in the library. Hmm. And play, um, That's true. <laughs> I got into the computer. And I had a look at where it was coming from, and where the next one was coming from, and I saw the block. Once I figured it out, I got in. It's just all there is to it. I just, once I figured it out, man, I, just, I was in. Yeah. I what? Vincent had meat skin on his computer 24 7, and he didn't know who did it. Do you um do your own like IT business now or anything? I've, I can't now, it's too oversaturated. Yeah. Way 
to the other side. It's too easy. It's too easy, man. Sorry, where did you do? I've been texting a line of text. I've got videos on how to build a computer, and the video goes for like 10 minutes. Yeah. Seriously. You can just pause it a bit. This computer I got now, I built it for 20... different generation of back when I was it's called 775 pin LGA yeah. and then 1155 and then 1186 2011 so forth and so on until you get to where we're at now which is like 2057 so this is three digits yeah. the power button and your hard drive light and the reset switch and the power button and the USBs and everything in the case is all fucking separate to yeah. the point where it was negative and positive to plug them in to a 64 pin connector and use a micro use a fucking magnifying glass and a torch to see if it said power plus and then power negative reset <laughs> switch you'd yeah. have to look right in it and then literally use tweezers it's a pin it's a pin that I kid you not is thinner than a toothpick Huh. Yeah, it was. It would take you a decent, like them, a decent them day. magnifying glasses you put over normal glasses, and then yeah, you can, can and then there. use a little, like, can, and then use the mini tweezers. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, or the other alligator clips that you can put on stuff. So you you, you, you can use them with the magnifying. Glass. Yeah, you don't have to. It's just some of them are tricks, and they put the numbers at the bottom of the pin, not the top or the side, or. It's, in the manual, you know what I mean? Every manufacturer did it different. Yeah. I always go with Intel, for the most part, because it's just so straightforward. Yeah. It's to the point where the CPU has a gold pin with an arrow pointing on it, and your CPU holder in the PC has an arrow pointing where it needs to sit. You just fucking literally place it in there and lock it, CPU is installed. It's the same as it is now, but that's always been easy with Intel. Yeah. Yeah. You know, so what I'm getting at is all these pins now, it's just one big plug and you just click. That's it. Just plug and play. One hour. Yeah. Pin. Yeah, when I got my laptop, I was like, you know, didn't know what I was looking at essentially and yeah. and just trying to work out. Because I couldn't, I didn't have the space, I don't have the proper space for like a proper PC setup just yet. Brian, so our laptop would be better. There was like 30. 80 graphics card or whatever, mm -hmm. I think, at the time. Yeah, and, that, yeah. Yeah. and then, like, that's not even the best one anymore, is it? No, it still is relatively good. Still relatively good? Still is good. top of the market. Yeah, because yeah. the 4080s yeah. are out now. Yeah. That's not the best 4080. Cool. Yeah. Uh -huh. The problem with graphics cards is the industry can just be trying to fucking decide to buy all the cards and put them into the camera. Can you even, like, replace everything in a laptop? Like you can on a normal tower PC? Yeah, yeah. I was literally just talking to my mate today at his house because he wants to buy a laptop. Yeah. And he was showing me all this shit on COVID and I'm like, no, fuck that shit off, dude. You have to go on Marketplace or fork out to man. Yeah. That's it. really am like, yeah, that's it. And there's no fuck yeah. So I always wondered that. I wondered if that was even possible. Yeah, of course it is. Yeah. Hundred percent can update the RAM. Your hard drive is a SSD. I'm not sure which one mine has. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. It's, yeah. it's, it's just a slimmer hard drive that you can buy through computer. Yeah. And you can interchange them. Oh yeah, the, there's the external ones that are like eight terabyte. That I've seen the best yeah, exactly. part shit. Yeah. Laptops can be upgraded. Yeah. But for people like you, it's the only option. But it's just expensive. It's yeah. So System, probably a system, but a huge and they weigh like mine weighs fucking like 10 kilos plus. It's heavy as shit. Because of the glass on Time to get out. Especially. It's good to go. Where the fuck am I? Oh.
Do I have road customs? No. Now, begs the question. Which way do I go first? I think I go this way now, I've already paused. Controller number two. I like this gazebo to just, you know, search the area real quick, scope it out. It's pretty handy, I reckon. And then we'll just wait for the coast to be clear. It's trying to do all three of these pick-up things in one raid. Because if you die, you don't, you have to go back and get it again, so it's... You know, the safe option would be now, I just go extract with the controller I found. No, hand it in, and then come back in. I'm trying to get the things that are in the health resort, but I'm trying to do it all at once for fun. But like I said, patience. I won't be online tomorrow, it's Melissa's birthday, so I'll spend time with her. Unless, of course, she wants to play Hogwarts Legacy, which I got for her. i got to go pick it up tomorrow, though. Oh, Hogwarts Legacy, Yeah. Got it on, the, much got it on the Switch for her, because, um... Oh, nice. She, uh, she plays the Switch. And it releases on the Switch on the 25th, so if that's tomorrow, and, I mean, yes, yeah, tomorrow, and that's a birthday, so it works out well. Nice! <laughs> Buddy, um, yeah, I jumped on, um, Project Zomboid yesterday and fucking have it have a geese, that was interesting. Yeah, wait, wait, like I thought you got bitten though, so didn't you die? 
Yeah, yeah. So like, I went and I went back to drove back to base to go sort myself out. And on the way back to base, I found like a big shipping container, and I thought they were just decoration, dude. But I like, I yeah. stopped, and I was like, hmm, I wonder if you can like store stuff in this, because surely. Yeah. And then yeah, you open the door on it, and it's just like twelve hundred um, units. I'm like, holy shit. <laughs> That's like the equivalent of like 12 fucking crates, dude. Like, that's huge. That's fucked. And, pretty... and um, anyway, so I was like, oh, I wonder if you can tow these or if you need a truck. Yeah. And because I was like, you know, because the cunt's going to be dragging across the ground, it's going to be hard to take back the base. And yeah, a little bit I don't know, it fucking, I attached it to the car and it took me a while to get back to base because it was like, as soon as you'd hit the grass, it would like be super slow. So I had to keep reversing and then like getting a run up and then... Yeah, I'm like fucking dragging it, like, yeah. and and then <clears throat> while I was doing that, like, I had to clear out a whole bunch of zombies in the way, so I had the window down shooting zombies, and so I cleared out a lot of the streets. And then as you come back to base, you know, down in the school, how there's all those cars in the middle of the road that we always got to fucking go around. I was like, oh fuck it, like, I might as well take this time, and fucking, you know, like, like I'm gonna die anyway. I might as well take this time to fucking um. Um, move the cars in the street, so I tried to ram them and shit. Um, they didn't really move that much, so I was like, ah, fuck it, I'll just tow them. And so I disconnected the thing, killed a bunch of zombies that were around there, fucking started towing each individual car off the road to the house that was across the street. Yeah. So they had a big, big backyard, so I just started towing them into the yard. And then I saw this little shed, and I was just like, oh, fucking, I wonder if that's got a generator. I'm like, if it has, like, you can get fuck game. And then yeah. I went up and it had like a little window in the front, so and I just looked in. literally looked through through the fucking window and I was like, get up, dude. Like literally a generator that was like right next to our base and we were going all the way out trying to find yeah. it every time. And I was like, get up. And then, um, yeah, anyway, I finished towing those things off, took the shipping container back, sorted myself out, fucking, um, came back, got, got my shit back and whatnot. And then um, I went and got the generator put it in front of the base, and then I was just like, fuck, like, I actually, like, because I was, like, real hyped about getting the generator in this fucking story, and I was like, oh, I'll go back into town and, like, just see what's going on. As in, um, fucking, uh... The, the big, big town. What, the one we went to? What was that called again? Um... Chest Town. I think yeah, Chest Town, yeah. And I went back down there to um to see if there's any, any shit in that shipping container still to loot where we found all the weapons last time. Yeah. And it was it was empty and I was like, ah oh, right, fuck, okay. Um but then there's a police station across the road and I was just like, I wonder if there's any fucking any way in without a sledgehammer and I went up there and there's a pack of zombies, killed them, got a bunch of shotguns off the bodies of the zombies and then loaded up the truck. And then went inside, dude, and like I was like on the edge the whole time because I went in there. Were you like, your bitten self or a fresh self? A fresh self. Oh fuck! So yeah, you were doing heaps yeah. nervous. I went in there, dude, and like I almost fucking died like two oh, times because like somebody jumped. <laughs> oh shit! Yeah, I'm in health resort. Let's get the fuck out of me, man. <laughs> Holy shit! Yeah, I went in there and I fucking um. Well, I hear all the zombies banging on everything, dude, and I'm like, oh, it's probably zombies in the oh. jail. Like, just like, yeah. Took your head off, dog. Um, well, you fucking play a scav. Oh, no wonder he fucking lit me up. He had a fucking FN7. Whew. Hey, fuck, let me fucking uh, pop a propy. Of tolls. Fucking hell, can't scare them. I fucking knew I heard someone. The fuck's he carrying that for? Fucking AK-74 sound suppressor, one of the shit ones. But weirdo. Anyway, you can keep going now. Talking, the panic's over. <laughs> um. And yeah, and, and so I went in there, and like I was just on the edge the whole time, and um, uh, hang on, just took my other fucking shot. Um, Ooh, that can't get the fuck out of me.
Yeah, we can. Um, do you want to jump on there afterwards? Yeah, I've got to head off soon and go oh. to get a school. So I'm just doing some shit on WoW, so probably maybe tomorrow or something. Um, we'll go <laughs> Wednesday night for me, which will be Thursday, June day for you, if you got it off. Yeah, yeah. Um... Because then we can see if I'm dead or not. Yeah, true. Um... But yeah, and like, because I, w I wanted to go back that way to log off anyway, because yeah. you were down that way, so that's why I went back into town. And I like, yeah, anyway, I was on the edge the whole time I went in. Um... And the fucking, um, I went up the stairs. When you go up the stairs, you can't see what's at the top of the stairs. So as soon as I went up the stairs and it phased in to the, to the next level, there was a zombie right in front of me, bro. And like, he almost bit me and I pushed him away and fucking shot him. In and the I went police back station. Down the, yeah. And I went back down the stairs cause I'm like, fuck, like I need to get away. But I'm like, shit, I should have stayed up there cause I know exactly where they are. And now I was just waiting for him to come down. One yeah. came down and the other ones didn't come down. So I went back up. Fucking almost died again, and then went back up and, and cleared the whole police station and whatnot. And then I fucking, and then I found the key to like their cell. So I was like, I want to stop all this banging. So I went down there and fucking killed everything in the police cells or whatever. And I was like, I still hear you banging. I've cleared the whole police station. Oh, thanks, Tom. And then I found like a, a room. Like I was like, oh, they're coming from here. So I opened up the door, and like fucking four zombies fucking like flooded out of this fucking mm -hmm. door, like close quarters. No, just everywhere. And and I shot the first one, and then I fucking ran out of fucking ammo, dude. I didn't realize I didn't pack my mag. Oh, and then I'm, so I'm like, I'm like pushing them all away, dude. And then I finally get some distance, and I quickly free pack the mag and kill them. And I was like, for fuck's sake, that was so close. Mm -hmm. But um, but yeah, then I like I started looking at all the lockers, and, and at this point, it's already nine o'clock, starting to go dark. I started looking at the lockers, dude, and I was like, yeah. holy fucking shit. Like, there is, like, fucking 30 lockers, dude. Each locker filled to the brim, like I'm talking about. Like, 50 stacks of ammo in each locker. Jesus. And guns and fucking armor and everything. Um... Um, and yeah, so I was like, oh, like, I want to wait for you to get on, like, to see if we can get in the town and do this together. So I fucking logged off in the police station. Oh, yeah. Which is probably not the best place to log off, but fucking, we'll see how we go. Now i got to see if I can't, uh, make it back there. Yeah, well, I mean, like, I think you logged off just outside the town anyway. Um, so I could probably come out and get the car and just come to you. I was in the car, wasn't I? I was in one. I was in one car. You were in another car. So it'll be interesting to see how things have gone down then. Yeah. Okay. Um. No. We're in, we're in no. The we same had two, car, we had two cars. Or all, all the cars are back at all the cars are back at base. Though. Oh, I don't know what happened then. I can't remember. I'd have to watch the video. I just walked to the basement. I did. Hmm. Man, I'd be devastated if I walk outside this resort and some cunt's camping. <laughs> I might wait a moment. Jesus. Yeah, let's see if I'm not dead or not, because I don't know if I've been fucking... Who knows what happened after the way it lagged out. Hopefully I'm alive. Then we can do a few more fucking episodes before I die, hopefully. Keep myself going. Yeah. yeah. As soon as that character dies, I'm just going to fucking... We'll wait a little bit and then we'll do the fucking find the cure playthrough, which will be fun as fuck. We'll search for the cure. Man, my fucking... Ah, oh, didn't even hit me, did it? Yeah. Oh, it hit me in the ears, somehow. That's crazy. I got, um... A uh, fast MT on with Stormtrooper in ears. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That cunt somehow hit me in the ears. And not the face. Jesus. And, <coughs> and I'm wearing a trooper, so. He was unsing me, but I fucking firmed it. Yeah, so it's not going to get these tasks done because every cunt should be on labs, honestly. 
That's probably, probably why he scabbed fucking shoreline, thinking he could get decent loot on a scav run. Yeah, I did like four or five tasks last night in pretty quick succession. See, I'm 43 now, so I've equaled last wipe. I'm pretty sure it was 43 was what I got last wipe. So I'm pretty sure you got to 42 and said, yeah, I've got max traders, I'm done now, last wipe. Sounds about right. Mm -hmm. And then I beat you by one, I was like, yeah, look at me. Yeah, so we'll see how I go. I'm gonna fucking... Probably next week or the week after, I'll see what events start to happen. I'll just start following the events and trying to get some PvP in. So I can have a bit of competency in that, because I'm just shit at PvP, honestly. I'm just a little sneaky little creature that slivers around the maps trying to do tasks. Hi. <laughs> Marcella's waving at me. She just got home. So I'm trying to get out of this raid right now. I was going to sit there for a bit, but I'm like, ah, oh, let's just try and get this extract and fucking see the big girl. That second tooth's poking through and all shit, I think, now. So I've been fucking cracking the shits with that. <laughs> oh, I got fresh milk as well, Melissa. I remember you saying the other day that we, the milk we had was no good now. Yeah, one morning when you got nothing going on, you need to fucking reinstall Tark or ready for the next wipe. Yeah, yeah. When you're like, oh, I can't be fucked playing games or whatever, just fucking do the email shit that you've got to sit there and wait for, and then just watch YouTube or whatever while you're waiting. Watch that fucking uh, Australian Made channel. He's a pretty good again uh, content creator. <laughs> Hundred and twenty-five subscribers, unbelievable. The big time. <laughs> the big boy.